how good can we make the racing in Gran Turismo 7 single player? We're about to find out here at Suzuka in my Ferrari 458 GT3. The 488 isn't in the game yet. On hard tyres, we're already breezing past. Well, actually, no, we're not. We were at the beginning, so this should be good. The cars around us should be on better tyres. Whoa, we came absolutely steaming in there. The 458 is a great car to drive, I have to be honest. Do we like it just nudging into the RCZ there? Whoa! And uh, this race at Suzuka, just a two-lap race today, or three-lap race. It's a three-lap race. I, I thought it was going to be a two-lap because the weather is dynamic and it is going to rain. It is going to rain later. And I want to see just how is the battling with the cars, the AI single-player cars around us, in the dry and how is that going to change in the wet and I have to say at the moment we're not exactly just zooming past everyone which I like I don't want the game to be too easy very easy to lose it on the outside of Degna 2 there I've been there we've all been there haven't we if you're watching and you're a fellow sim racer dive up the inside I think that was an RX-7 we've got the Supra here careful deploying the power it's feel fun it feels fun it feels like the cars are evenly balanced. Not really, I would say, def oh, I'll tell you what, is he defending or just lazily on his line? You decide, viewers. You be the judge. Coming into Spoon, there's a bit of contact. Oh, that's a very rough pass. And just, uh, wow, we managed to hug inside line there for a bit. Corvette C7 ahead of us here. The C7 is ancient. It's older than the pyramids. We need Corvette C8s in the game, Gran Turismo, please. ASAP. Right, 130R next. It's getting dark. To have the brakes. Unintentional drifting. I'm really um, pulling that front end across a lot today, aren't I? And we're up to, at the end of lap one, up to P13. So by my very poor mass, that means that we're just about going to win this race, aren't we? Surely? <laughs> but the weather may change things. Let's get on the old uh, weather radar. So we can see that rain coming as soon as possible when it's dark now. This is a fantastic thing about Gran Turismo 7, isn't it? It's a dynamic weather and it's, it's, it's really bad that it's just not in the daily races. Let me know if you agree with that, but I feel like they need to showcase the best of Gran Turismo 7. It's not... I don't know if they're saving it or something, but... You know, we've done GT World Series races with dynamic weather, albeit not enough, in my opinion. There's always a buzz when the GT World Series race involves dynamic weather, isn't there? You can see just glancing at the radar a few times and our progress has really stalled here, I have to say. There's another 458 ahead of us. Oh, man. Thought I was going to hit it. We'll try and... Oh, he comes across there. Wow. I don't know if he was trying to line up an overtake on the WRX ahead or something. I'll try and just stick to my line. Oh, man. This guy, honestly, he's given us absolutely no space. Mr. Tajima. Not sure about that. Right, here we go. So yeah, we haven't really gained many positions on this lap at all. But that's good. Because it means the cars around us are offering a challenge. Which is what I wanted. Right. Up inside the Supra, maybe. No. Supra comes across us. Everyone's doing it today. We're not being aggressive enough. There we go. Into Spoon. Claim the corner. And it's a Beetle up next. Up to P9. 10 seconds off the lead. It was a grid start. The top three drivers are like absolutely breezing away. They're already into 130R. Lap two out of three and I can't see anything on the radar yet. Although I was assured that it was going to rain. And I was hoping that was going to be a little bit of an equaliser. Oh, Olsen's here. Don't think we can dive up the inside because there's presumably still a car there. We'll find out. No, there isn't as we turn in. Trying to pivot the car a little bit. Try and go around the outside. 207 there for Mr. England. I think we're going to be significant no well, well I think we might get ahead of it yeah but not significantly WRX and the RCZ here the front drivers going around the first corner when is that rain gonna hit I mean I'm seeing clear skies to be honest <laughs> I'm seeing clear skies right here we go Monsieur Gay is ahead of us let's try and get him on the exit of the S's I don't think I need to shift down there I'd love to um Oh, do a sweeping overtake on him and get into P3. So it looks like it's the front two, really, that are 
steaming away with things. There we go. I love the way the headlights just kind of get cut up by the cars. That's really, really, really um, evocative, I have to say. Time acceleration's on time 30. Going to go up the inside of the C7 here. Here we go. Yes. Right. How far away are they? There they are, going into the hairpin. Seven seconds up the road. Surely not. I mean, this is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. I need rain to hit light immediately and hard. These... I mean, what is going on with these two cars ahead? Can we see what they are? Let's have a look. Ugh. Might get a glimpse around Spoon. Delta's tumbling now. But... I have to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't see this, viewers. I don't see it. Are you disappointed in myself? Have I let everyone down? That's the most important question. Right, here we go. Down about straight, using all of that runoff and then some. These leaders have absolutely smashed it. And the rain never came. This is a bug. I set the rain and the rain never came. But have I enjoyed the race? I think so. I think I have. I think I've enjoyed it. I think I need to do a few more of these. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me just explore the world in Gran Turismo 7 in uh, different varieties of cars. But this is a fun race I tried to create in the custom races. And yeah, it was kind of okay, but it's, it's not a close pack of 20, is it? For some reason, P1's there and last place is about 17 miles behind. So I can't work that out. But anyway, Racer Suzuka... I just I feel like I need a little bit more from the game. I don't know. I don't know. See you next time.